Um, so Sh Mr. Sheriff Scott was representing the corporation, not 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 Fitzpatrick. Is yeah. that correct? Yes. Well, that's the reason why they were able to do this: take a vote and close council, because that's the that's the uh, the, the uh, acceptance they had there. My concern mm -hmm. is not what was done in close council, as I told you. I will want, won't discuss the, the issue of close council. Mm -hmm. What I will discuss is the process and the frustration we've been put through. Yeah. I mean, I sent an email on the, uh, uh, the first one was on the 26th to the clerk requesting uh, some information and uh, four, four pieces of information and specifically asked that no action be taken before uh, my questions are answered. Um, I get an email back uh, about the, the email I received was roughly, I believe it was a couple days later or the day later, or the next, no, that, that same day, and indicated to me that the my request is being sent to uh, to uh, uh, for legal uh, to legal counsel for response. So legal counsel. Yeah. And so all I was looking for is, is some. So you, as, a, as an elected official of the corporation, the city of Cornwall. But let me share this out just a little bit. Yeah. When you say legal counsel, what what are the questions that would require? Well, that's what I, I, that's what I'd like to know. I basically, uh, um, I basically asked if the agreement was going to be brought back to council to be voted on open council. Uh, I requested a special media council to deal with it, and I would ask that uh, a response to my request be sent to me ASAP before any press release is put to the public, and I asked for media attention would be. And this yeah. came out before the press release. You got it. So you asked, as, as right. an elected official, you asked these very benign questions, yeah. very clear questions, of the city clerk. Mm -hmm. And we're told that it had to go to legal and then they issued a press release. Yeah. So, but the question is, why did that need to go to legal counsel? I don't know. I can tell you 15 minutes later I received a call from, from our legal counsel. Mr. Scott, Mr. Sheriff Scott. Yeah. Indicating that, uh, asking me to, to, to basically uh, hold off a response to my, 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 my letter, or, or basically. And because he was busy the following day, he was in court, and the, and the next seven days he'd be out of this country. And I had no problem with that. But why, why is that? Why are those questions so sensitive that you need legal counsel? Well, you tell me. I don't. You don't know. I can't tell you that. I don't know why. You know. Because it doesn't, I, seem, I, doesn't seem out of the ordinary. Well, I, I can tell you. No, it doesn't. It shouldn't be. I can tell you that uh, that that uh, after when I get a, what the response back, I, I, I sent to her as soon as I found out this this seen a, seen a, this uh, press release was. Then he's. I want to know why my email question and request were not uh, addressed before. The agreement was finalized as I requested. The only response uh, to the email I was that your email has been received and we'll be consulting legal counsel on your inquiry. And then she followed Mr. Fitzpatrick and announced her retirement. Well, that's going to have to do with that. I don't think it's going to. But no, let me just clarify. So I want to make sure we have all everything on the information right here. Um, you sent a subsequent email after yes after you talked to Sheriff Scott. No, I sent a, a, an email. I was a, I was. I felt that nothing would have been dealt with before Sheriff Scott came back. Yeah. I, so when when the press out. release came out yeah. on the 29th, I believe it was, yes, that's when I sent the email to her asking okay. her why my uh, issue was not addressed. So on June 29th, the press release came out. They hadn't answered your questions yet, so you sent an email back to Denise? Yeah. Well, they, they, that's right. But I had talked to Sheriff Scott on the first email. Yeah. Because that's what she had told me. So he called me 15 minutes after she received the letter. So then you, after the press release, you sent another email to Denise and after asked why, why she went ahead. That's right. That's right. And the response I got, that everything was done the way it was supposed to be. Uh, not even, you know, I, not even the courtesy of writing me back telling me that, you know, it was done after the press release. So the, the response, did she responded to that? Yeah. When you asked her why they did that, what was her response? Quoting that they had checked with legal counsel and everything uh, was kosher, uh, they had done the right thing, and that uh, the, 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 it was approved in open counsel by approving the last motion. How, how does that make you feel when you're treated that way as a city councillor by, uh, by, by city staff, by the clerk? I think it shows disrespect. I think it shows you're, you're being, uh, uh, they're trying to think you're a fool. 
Uh, and I, I don't, you know, I think this is terrible. The mayor should be standing up and say, hold on a minute here. You do not respond to a councillor this way. Uh, you, you will give the information he's looking for. That were were you the only councillor that wanted no, this information? No. Well, on this one. Yeah. But other councillors... You guys talk, I know that. Other councillors don't, um, are very upset that it wasn't brought back to us. Because that was the impression that was given at that meeting. Can you say which councillors are upset? I like to talk for themselves. Yeah. I think that I, I don't think, uh, you know, I can... Well, again, uh, I think you know the ones I talked to you about, and I don't want to mention your names because it's not my position. So, so what recourse do you really have? They're saying this is the way it went down, you're saying this is the way it went down. You obviously have two different views of how things are supposed to unfold. Well, So how, what's the recourse? How can I, you do anything Speaking to Mr. Alexander yesterday, uh, he indicated to me that uh, he spoke to, he sent an email to Sheriff Scott. And I was supposed to get a, a copy of this email that I get this morning, close to seven three, and uh, that uh, indicated that uh, uh, it must have been a misunderstanding because he didn't think that uh, that he had said he would wait till he come back. Well, bottom line, my email is very, very clear. Sure, and Scott said it must be must be a misunderstanding. Yeah, that's what Stephen told me. Okay. So anyway, my my email is very, very clear, uh, and uh, and he called to this action or at least a response before the press release was released, and it wasn't done. Uh, you know, we're talking about uh, uh, what, is, what is this Dave Sheriff Scott's uh, area of expertise? It sounds to me like he's more. He criminal. deals with no, no. He deals with municipalities. He deals with municipalities. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's a municipal law. Okay, so he's qualified to give us. Oh no, 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 he's very, very qualified. Okay. And I don't even know. You know, I don't know if uh, I haven't spoken to Sheriff Scott yet. I will be on Friday. Okay. I think that I would like some explanation why. So you'll speak to him on Friday. Yeah, he's back. He'll be back Friday. Steve says. So, uh, okay. Now, is this uh, is this just for informal talks, or is there uh, is there actually going to be another council meeting? Uh, 